Well, it's Sunday. I'm back over on the Elizabeth Eve. And uh, I'll go over some of the things that I didn't uh, go over on my that last uh, that first little bit. Um, this is a 2018. Uh, I don't build boats. I don't know all the systems. And hopefully this will help some uh, owners that uh, are trying to find things because it took me a while. Uh, I had mentioned the fuse panel and where the fuses are. And I looked uh, over there by the battery. I looked underneath my dash, which normally that's where I thought it would be. And then uh, I found out that it's here. You pop this off, there's actually a screwdriver emblem on there and you just pop it. It's plastic. I'm always wary about breaking stuff like this because then what? Um, I can't, it won't stay on there because it's just plastic. So if I break a clip or something, um, then it's exposed. So you pop that off, the fuses are in there. Um, it's fine, it works. You know, I don't know how long these things last, but I don't like it. So uh, Derek's gonna replace it. And I don't like the fact that my uh, macerator pump when I'm in my fish well, I've got to sit here and hold it. So it could be full of slush and slime and I got to, just sit there and hang on to it instead of just turning it on and as soon as I hear it go off, I can shut it off. Um, I don't, I didn't like that. Another thing about this uh, boat when they built it, this door, this thing used to be down here and then there was a, a piece coming out and that's where the door would lock. So this door would just stop right here. Well, I don't want a door sticking out that much when I'm back here dealing with uh, fish and hanging out. So I cut a piece of rubber, put it at an angle, and move this piece. No, I think I, I ordered this piece, a shorty one. Yeah, I think they had something different. Anyway, um, I got this, so when it meets, there you go. And I had mentioned about getting locked out. Yeah, so there you go. Now, door's there, if you're inside there, because you're using the bathroom and uh, you're trying to get out, you're locked. My other boat, if you just do this, and then it unlocks in the back. This, I just have to reach back here press that and it's uh, free. Another thing with this boat, they have different uh, layouts. My 2020, now the door is here for the bathroom. So nothing coming in, not, not another opening for, you know, water to come in and, uh, you know, fish stuff flying around. So um, still flies, still gets in here though. Looks like some of that stuff, the blood. Anyway, um, the door on the other boat is right here. The layout of this, this bench was actually probably, I don't know, four inches this way or more. And you can see I had Nate uh, build me an aluminum piece because you're down low so even if even if you're like six five you're still only cresting over those windows you know when you're looking out so I got everything higher and I uh, got another seat and um, you know extended it so now it's a full bench instead of what they had. My new one, the 2020, the stitching and everything looks more cohesive because they, I told them, look, I want a full bench and take this bench and scooch it back. So you sit, I don't know, normally. And it gives you a little bit more room here. The, the seat, the seat was fine. 
You know, the only thing I, I did with this thing is I shifted it over that way. Uh, maybe, well, you can see five inches. There's the hole. And then there's the new spot. When it was over here, this middle bar right here was just right in my field of view. So I just shifted it over a little bit and I just, I don't know, felt more comfortable when I was driving. So instead of being like this, now I'm like this. You know, the, the, and then the other thing I didn't, I didn't like about it, the control for the motor is right here. So my captains, when they're sitting here, the bigger guys, they're always hitting this button. And then dropping down the motor. So they'll be running and notice that, hey, I'm going slower than I should be. And it's because the motor is sitting there trailing in the water. Um, you know, but other than that, it's it's pretty good. I, you know, I have the radio over here. I didn't, I think, oh yeah, same thing. Um, they mounted it here, which my arm is going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, manipulating the, the throttle. So eventually, you know, I busted it. It still works, you know, whatever. Um, I don't know where I'd mount it. Maybe down lower where my arm isn't, you know, isn't sitting here. All these windows had screens. I don't know, you know, what, I don't, I, we do have bugs here definitely, but out on the water, I'd sooner just not have it. So I took them all out and threw them in the garbage. Uh, my other boat, I had asked the manufacturer, I said, hey, don't waste your material. I don't need them. I don't want them. Um, but they sent them anyway. So I did the same thing. I took them and, you know, threw them out. I didn't have, I tried to find some purpose for the screen, the mesh material, but uh, couldn't, so I threw it out. And then, um, you know, the, the front here, and I haven't done it to the other boat. When I first got this thing, they didn't have this. It just went straight down and it was a V. So if I got kids running in here, they're going to just fall right into that hole. Um, or, you know, if you put this thing here and it, and, it, and it fits over. If I had anything on the floor and it went in there, it'd go right down to the, to the bottom. And it, it was with that V, it was, you know, I don't know. For me, it was unusable because I, I don't want to get on my belly to reach over and, and pick stuff up that roll up forward uh what was nice is i think this is starboard or something like that um i had the i had the boat shop cut me a piece and then uh you know just drill the hole to be able to pop it out so i can still use it if i have an extra anchor or whatever i want to put in there for extra gear some extra line so it's still usable but now uh, you can walk on it. I can put my stuff and it's like I don't, you know, got to bend down into a hole. And sure enough, the, the edges, there's a there was a lip on both sides. And this stuff is pretty sturdy. So um, it can hold quite a bit of weight. And then I don't know why I took it out. There, there was a big mirror in here. That V all the way across. Um, it was a big mirror. I don't know if it was to give you... A sense of space or what but um, I didn't need it <laughs> I didn't want a big mirror in my V berth I uh, yeah, put a little uh, Brita on here and just velcro it so I've got a water dispenser um, don't have to carry cases of bottled water when I come out yeah, you can see nice little windows but I don't need it uh, this boat here I the way it's set up, I, I would use my other boat uh, for weekenders, and I'll show you that um, in another video with the other boat. I put a fan in there, 
it helps. And then um, I'm all about redundancy, so um, you know I've got my uh, two systems here, GPS, those combos. One will sit there, one will sit there. I don't have it out now uh, because it's winter time and I, I like my stuff nice and warm. The finish to these boats, they're really nice. Uh, the gray, the gray paint, uh, real durable. Um, the the top, the header, these things, um, they're just clipped in with these round plastic uh, things. So uh, I went ahead and got a handful of them. If I ever need to pull this out down for some reason, um, like when I... Yeah, when my uh, welder came in and put in that radar arch, he, he pulled some panels down and I had some, you know, I, I thought, wow, those clips might break. They're plastic. It's like doing body work on a car. Um, some of the panels and the interior, you can just pop them off. But as a not, you know, I'm not a mechanic or a body guy, I tend to pull thinking, I need to pull harder and then next thing you know you snap clips and then you're at the store trying to figure out where you know where can i find these things that match this uh clip and hopefully they got them um juno's a little bit tougher because we only have so many sources we don't have pep boys and uh auto zone so but yeah nice uh nice finish with these thunder jets uh the the Hull design is fast. Um, and it just looks really clean. I, I wish I would have popped for the better gauges. Um, but, and you can see, you know, when I got this, um, it immediately didn't work. I've got 85, 84 hours here. I got, uh, you know, 400 here didn't work at the get-go and so they run pretty much the same amount of time off and on off and on so i'm not too worried about it eventually i'd like to replace that and get some uh, digital and tie it in with the motor so it gives me more information as far as flow uh, pressures uh, electrical this uh this panel right here I'm gonna get one of these for outside, or actually Derek is. He has ordered up a couple of these. Uh, a couple hundred bucks is what he's telling me. Um, I'm gonna order up, you know, one for each boat. So this will be um, outside. And then, uh, you know, then there's this, the break, little breaker panel here. And then, um, well, you can't see it and it's dark, but if you looked underneath there and put a little flashlight to it, you'll see uh, fuses and it's all in the cab and you don't have to like um, pull off a, a cover that, um, you know, you got to use a tool to, to pull off that cover underneath there. It's clips. You just use your hand, open the clips. It's a clasp and then uh, pull the cover off and then there's the... There's a fuses and you just pull them out and there you go. The, um, the, the, the electrical problem that I'm having with this boat too, with the Maxwell windlass is that there's a big 70 amp uh, breaker right there. And, uh, when my windlass binds up, especially because of that small opening, that wouldn't trip. It would burn out my 100 amp fuse, which for me to go, and it, I had to go looking around for it, um, is in the back. So, you know, I'm on a trip and uh, you don't want to hand pull hundreds of feet when you're out halibut fishing. And you can see uh, Derek kept it open. I think he's gonna end up uh, putting a straight Instead of having a fuse, it'll be a, a straight piece of metal made by um, that manufacturer that makes that makes that fuse. So one of those fuses, I think, is the one all the way to the left. It's a 50 amp now, but I think I had a 100 amp before. Um, it would blow that, 
so the windlass, I'd have to go back here with my Phillips, you know, have a handful of these things, uh, put it back in, and then it'd start working, and then if it ever did it again, it would it would uh, blow the fuse rather than uh, hit that uh, breaker. The other boat, my oldest boat, if uh, the windlass trips, then all you do is just click that breaker and you're back in business once you clear, you know, whatever's jamming it. Um, and then I'll go up top here. So there is what I didn't, you know, I didn't want on the other boat. It's a vent for the bathroom. I didn't, I don't want it, didn't need it. Um, that light up there, I, I really don't like that placement on it because if I need to put an inflatable on it, it's right in the middle of everything. So eventually uh, that will go onto a tab onto here uh, one of these times. And when that happens, um, it's got, you know, you got to take those panels off inside and access the top, which is awesome. Uh, there's plenty of room, uh, real easy to get through. And then you can see um, Nate put this on. He was awesome. I had my other one put on uh, at in Huna, and the guy. Uh, no, this is the one he did. So Nate didn't do this work. On the other boat, uh, Nate welded it, and he didn't burn it. I needed it in Huna. So I've just got to live with that, these burn marks. Uh, Nate, it was like, it did, it looked like this when he was done. Um, you know, the guy that welded it, I was pinched for time and I needed a radar uh, for safety. So that superseded uh, cosmetics. Um, the guy that did it, his primary line of work uh, was re in the refrigeration and uh, now he's like a retired uh, refrigeration refrigeration guy and he is a commercial fisherman uh, when he wants to so um, he's like yeah i'll do that it might not be the prettiest and i said you know what as long as it's uh, uh as long as it's it's it holds and then uh, you know up here i took the panel off and so uh, there was probably, whatever, uh, three inches or so of space. Um, so no problem. Um, he welded it on, everything's good, everything's tight. So that is, uh, that is the Thunder Jet. Pretty sure I, I covered everything. I'll show you the other one when that gets done it's over in Huna right now and um, I ended up I ended up something hit my uh, cowling in the back so I had a body shop take it in and luckily enough there was a guy they had there that has been doing boat work uh, God since he was a kid his dad was really big into boats um, here in Juneau locally so he took a look at it and um, and now it's all shiny and neat and that was over at Doug's Auto the owner uh, her name is Nancy um, I knew her growing up as a kid um, she was really awesome and, and uh, really did me a favor with the price <laughs> So uh, a new cowling, I don't even know how much that costs. I know the stickers are like $800 just for the Mercury emblems or, or something uh, like that. Uh, not, not cheap. So I put these in here, just on a little side note, these Camfros store dry. Where are the, here we go. These, I don't know, I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a believer. I put uh, I put this in here, and I think that worked just as well. 
And the only thing with that is I believe it takes it takes less power. It's got a little heat and a fan. But uh, I've got I put it on my other boat and I was still getting mold close by it. So maybe it's too cold here in Alaska for that thing. Uh, I don't know, but uh, boy, if you have a garage, boat shed, whatever, that's just the way to go. Um, oh, uh, one other thing about uh, this boat, which I probably um, will end up, I don't know, to re I probably just won't ever use it because it'll, it's going to corrode. All these hatches have locks to it. Um, I, I don't have anybody that's going to, that, I don't know. My fish hold, it's just a metal box underneath there. Um, these access hatches here, um, you know, they're access to my pumps, but it's work to get them out. That big square there, that's my fish hold, so I, <laughs> I've got the boat at the harbor. If I leave fish in there on ice or something, I'm going to come down and, and nobody's going to grab it. If uh, if I do have fish in there, I, I'm, I'm not going to leave it very long. I mean, I don't know. I, I just personally don't need locks on everything. What ends up happening, this these locks here actually, that would be good, you know where my batteries are but uh, everywhere here and you can see it's already corroded I'm not even gonna try to put a key in there I'm never gonna lock it because I'd be afraid but uh, I thought that was just uh, overkill I don't need all those locks um, so yeah I uh, the 2020 boat didn't have a spare tire and it didn't have a forward cleat by the windlass and I had to do that and it didn't have a bracket for my kicker. So, and you'll see it on the 2020 and you'll see the differences. But uh, Nate had to, you know, weld, weld me up one of these for my kicker and uh, anyway I like the new kicker too it's a 15 uh, EFI so anyway that's it that's the that's the Thunder Jet and uh, you'll see the 2020 and see the differences in another video all right